Hey, this is Roy, and uh, I'm going to show you this XNA uh, engine that I built. Uh, it's nothing fancy, you've seen it done before in games like Minecraft, but I thought I would just uh, try it on my own, and that's what I've got so far. So we start off with the chunk here. Uh, everything is built in 16 by 16 by 128 chunks, so you have 16 cubes from left to right, 16 cubes from front to back, and 128 height. And uh, I'm going to press a button here, I'm going to build a couple chunks out. Uh, when I press the A button on my 360 controller, it generates a new chunk further out. So when I press it this time, it went from negative 1, negative 1 to 1, 1. If I press it again here, it'll go from negative 2, negative 2 to uh, 2, 2. And I'm going to zoom out here so I can show that part. I use I use threading to generate the chunks so the user doesn't get hit with too much uh, pausing. So there's another one you can see it generating there. And I use a vertex buffer so it generates four chunks and then puts them out to the screen. Um, and every four chunks it just refreshes the screen there. Uh, to generate the actual world I'm using a 3D simplex noise algorithm and I just have a density formula. Uh, it's all pretty simple. I'm new to all this stuff so uh, it's probably all been done before but it's neat for me to play with. Um, generate another chunk out. Right now I'm not loading or unloading any chunks so the more I build out the more memory that's being consumed um, and the more ver the more vertices that are on the screen. Vertex buffers only handle I think a little over a million and so I can only generate a little bit out until it really comes back and yells at me, throws an exception. Um, the way I can solve that though is just by loading and unloading chunks. You know right now the chunks all the way on the other side of the world, they don't need to be loaded because I'm not over there. Um, but yeah, uh, the the algorithm that I have in here is only going to print out faces that you need. So if you were to go inside this world, you'll notice it's missing a lot of faces because there's nothing that's uh, facing towards you here. Underneath you can see uh, kind of how that works. But if you break out, hopefully the user should never see... There you go. The user should never see an empty face. Um, they should always see something towards them. I'm going to try and generate another chunk on the outside. See if it crashes on me. I've lost my bearings. There, there. Let's see if you can find a cool cavern. Uh, I don't know what seed this is. Oh, there you go. There's a cool one. Uh, obviously, I'm not very good at shaders, and so it's pretty terrible looking. I just kind of have something here to make it easier for me to watch. And yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, I'm still a newbie to all this stuff, so I'm sure all this is done before, but it's really neat for me to play with. So, uh, yep, enjoy.